So you seem to like that last video, and I tell you what, I enjoyed reading the comments. Of, uh, you know, what was she doing? If you haven't seen that video, I'll uh, I'll put it in the, the comment or the description thing below. So this thing here has been fucking up. It's not doing what it should do, and. Uh, you know, recording properly, so sort of a bit scarce on video. So I'll do another story video. If you don't like it, here's your chance to uh, click off now. All right, now that we've got rid of all the dickheads that don't want to watch, um, here's a story. We'll do the same thing. What was, or what did this bloke say? I've got a feeling that some people may be able to guess what he said but exactly how he said it again I'm gonna say no one will guess exactly how this guy said or you know what he said exactly what he said so again for context I'm going to pick up a load we're going into a shed and there's two lanes I'm picking up from the right hand lane. The right hand lane is, you know, bulk of bags and bulk pickup. You drive in, you park there, and then when you're finished, you've got to reverse back out and then drive around the shed. The left lane is only for like, truck and dogs, tippers, all that sort of stuff. They just shoot it straight into the back of the tipper. So we can't get loaded in the left hand side. Anyway, I go up there. There's a truck sitting in the right hand lane. Okay, so I'm parked out. And where, where you park, there, there's a line in the car park. And it's probably, oh, as a guest, 120 odd metres back. So I'm just sitting there and the forklift driver, he comes out and the truck's still sitting there and he starts flashing his headlights at me. Like he's way down there and I'm like, hey mate, flashing his headlights at me. And then he starts going like this. Oh yeah, you can see on the camera. He's like, like this, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Waved again. Then he gets a bit more sort of aggressive. He's like, as if like, come on. <laughs> so I, was like, I don't know what he wants. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll get out and I'll, I'll go and see what he wants. I've been there oh, easily 15, 20 times, you know, so I know him, he knows me, we get along. So I thought, oh, I'll go and see what he wants. I'm walking up and I'm probably about 50 metres up at that point, so I'm halfway there. And he just calls out, he's still sitting there, just at the back of the truck. Old mate, the truck driver's just standing there. Anyway, he calls out from the forklift, he's still sitting there and he says, Bring it in! Bring it in! <laughs> now I've already told you, there's only one bay there. You can drive in, you gotta reverse out, because you can't drive through. The left lane can drive through. The truck and dogs and the tippers. And he was like, I don't know what the fuck you want, mate. So I've, I've just continued walking. And anyway, I get up to him, I'm like, hey mate, what's going on? It's picking up, you know, what I was picking up. He's like, yeah, bring it in. I said, oh, as soon as old mate is gone, I'll, I'll bring it in. He goes, no, no, just bring it in now. Well, I'll go back and when he moves out, I'll, I'll bring it in. He says, no, no, come in now. I said, well, what, you want me to go like, next door? Like, in the, no, no, bring it in here. He says, I told him to fuck off. I'm not loading him. 
Well, okay. Well, when he's gone, I'll move up. And then this is a forklift driver. He says to me, he says, he's been here for 20 fucking minutes and he can't figure out how to open the curtains. I've told him to fuck off. I'm not loading him. So the truck driver at this point, standing next to the forklift driver, he's seen me walk all the way over because he was standing there the whole fucking time, just like a stunned mullet, sitting, standing there at the back of his truck. So instead of even just saying, oh look mate, you know, I'm, I'm fresh or, you know, I, I don't know how to do work this curtain, you know, or, because it was a taut liner, couldn't figure out how to open the curtains. You know, oh mate, oh, I'm, I'm not strong enough to crack the fucking ratchet. Whatever the reason was, obviously it was his first. If it wasn't his first day, it was definitely his first week. But, Instead of saying anything, he's just sort of stood there. I've told him to fuck off. He's been here for 20 minutes, he can't even get new curtains open. All right. Then the first words out of this guy's mouth, put it down in the comments below what you think he's about to say. I'll do it in the, the best reenaction of the truck driver as I can. He says, I don't do the backward thing. <laughs> I don't do the backward thing. <laughs> now, me and the Forky, we didn't even say anything, but we've just both looked at each other and we had the look on our face. We, had, we both had the same look. Is this cunt fucking serious or what? Is he fucking for real? I don't do the backward thing. Mate, you've got your B-double license. You don't know how to do the backward thing. You don't know how to open curtains. I'm guessing it's either his first day or his first week. I mean, if you get into a new truck, new trailer, new whatever, and you're not sure, just ask a goddamn question. No one's gonna shoot you down for that. No one's gonna say, oh, you stupid cunt, can't you figure this out? You're in fucking, it, I'm not gonna say what company he was driving for, but it's a large company. And he was in a, like they've got new gear. So he was in a Volvo or Mercedes or whatever it was, cab over truck you know, probably under two years old. With two trailers, an A and a B trailer. I'd say he's, he's got well over half a million dollars in. No one is going to just say, ah, fuck him, he'll figure it out. With half a million dollars, or more, probably more. No one would do it. Now, he's obviously just thought, oh, I'll fucking wing it. I'll, I'll figure it out. But he obviously couldn't. Oh, man. So, after his, I can't do the backward thing. Oh, no, I don't do the backward thing. I just said, all right, I'll, I'll go back and as soon as he's gone, mate, I'm coming in. So I've gone back, sat in the truck, Dave said something up there. Oh, he's got in his truck and, and he, he done all right. He, he reversed it out. All he, I mean, he just need to reverse straight and turn around, like drive around the shed. So all he need to do is reverse straight. He drove in straight, so he just don't touch the steering wheel, just fucking reverse. They're all autos. None of them drive any, like none of them drive fucking road range or 18 speed or anything. So he doesn't even need to worry about the gearbox. It's just fucking, a push button auto probably. So, yeah, I mean, I remember when I first started, I said to the boat, when I first touched my first tour liner, I said, show me what you do. You know, because there's, there's all sorts of different ones. You know, there's ones where you got to crack it this way, crack it that way. You got to pull the, 
pull like a little latch and do it. There's air fucking ones that are air bloody pull and you know, there's no harm in asking, you know, because especially if you're somewhere that says, you know, like there's a fucking hundred other people around. No one's just gonna say I'm not fucking telling you. I just couldn't believe it. Anyway, I've, I've driven up, got in there, and he goes, you're fucking kidding. This bloke, I don't do the backward thing. Couldn't figure out the curtains. He said, I, I, I'm not fucking loading him. Fuck him. Anyway, after I've got loaded, I did the backward thing. <laughs> I reversed out, drove around. He's sitting in the car park on the phone. I assume, ringing his boss or the office or whatever, oh, they won't load me. All I have to say about that whole thing, I'm glad I'm not paying that fuckwit's wages. He's come from wherever he's come from to where we had to pick up, couldn't get loaded. Now he's probably got to go back. You know, so even if he only come from Sydney, because they don't have a depot in Newcastle. So even if he came from Sydney, uh, you know, it's, the best part of at least, you know, two hours, two and a half hours. However long he waited there for. And then the, the trip back, so it was just a wasted fucking day. Plus they didn't pick up the product that, you know, was he was there for. So someone else has got to go and do what he couldn't. I don't know if he ended up turning back around or, you know, saying, can you tell me how to open the ratchets? I'll go and talk to this guy. Don't know, but let me know what you thought anyway. If someone said, I can't reverse out, then, you know, you, you get three quarters of a point. <laughs> but if anyone guessed, oh shit, that's a fucking big pothole. If anyone guessed that this guy said, I don't do the backward thing, then either one, you're one of three people, you're either me, you're the forklift loader, or you're this fucking dumbass dickhead truck driver that can't do backwards, or you've heard it somewhere else before, so give yourself a pat on the fucking back. Anyway, I'll try and figure this thing out. Um, I get a lot more sort of traction with views and all that with the dash cam. People love the dash cam, they fucking love it. Anyone that's watching this far, you know you like watching the dash cam videos too, so I'll try and figure that thing out. It keeps focusing on the on the bonnet instead of in front of me and you can't even watch it. It's just fucking shaky as shit, so we'll try and work that out. If not, um, any other if you enjoy these driving videos, I'll do I'll do driving videos. Give me something to talk about. Um, little subjects or stories you want, might want to hear. If not, I might just do stories anyway. So, you know, like, this is what happened. And, because some of them are pretty fucking funny. You know, like that... I won't ruin it if you haven't seen it, but um, what was that woman doing? I've never seen anyone doing that before. That was a first for me here in uh, I Don't Do The Backward Thing. Yeah, I'm sure I can think of fucking things more, so. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good shit. Thanks for watching. Have a fucking good day. Bye now.